<clears throat> hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, back again. This time, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a special review. And it's going to be on the. What is it? Lucky Strike. And yeah, these are the click and rolls. I don't. The only thing I don't like about some of these packages that I got from Siggy's World are that it says the obvious smoking kills. Smokers die younger. It just has those those big health warnings, and it's like, really? Come on, you didn't have to put that on my cigarette box. It's not gonna stop me from smoking. Anyway, <coughs> okay. See, I'm gonna be doing the Lucky Strike click and roll. Smoking kills. <laughs> no. Yeah. So it says, I thought this was pretty cool. It says a little dude, a deformed dude. Throwing the cigarette box into the trash. It's pretty cool. He's just like, whoosh. so, yeah. And British American Tobacco Group, right there on the side. Lucky Strike. Click the capsule to switch from regular to menthol. It says it right there. And I'm sure it says it on the back. On the back it says, click the capsule to change the taste. And then just roll it around to turn it up. Sometimes, always, never. It's up to you. Enjoy. Freedom of Taste by Luckies. And then in big words it says, click, roll, enjoy, taste. Make it kind of stand out so it makes sense. Um, for adults only, for duty, free sale only. And I don't know if it shows the nicotine amounts in these or not. Um, no, I guess it doesn't. I'd really like to know how much nicotine are in these, that's for sure. Okay. Pack design, it's decent. I'll give it a seven, seven out of ten. Um, kind of plain, but Lucky Strikes, the original Lucky Strike is pretty plain. This is a little power, like the power symbol. So I mean that's pretty cool. On the bottom it says convertibles. Lucky Strike convertibles. I don't know. All right, well I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see how it goes real quick. Cellophane. Okay. And I've been pre-packing them before I do the reviews. It's just easier. It makes a... It speeds up the process. Uh, I'm going to pack them in just a little bit more, though. Okay. Decent little pack on there. <clears throat> um, it's, it's an all-white cigarette. It does have a little bit of black. It has a black stripe right there right above lucky strike on the filter and then it has two arrows pointing to a little power symbol and I guess that's where you click it um, kind of a squishy filter I don't want to press it right now I'm gonna smoke about th this much and then I'm gonna crush it so I'll probably take two or three drags without it just to see if it's the original lucky strike flavor and then I'll click it just so I can, you know, kind of get the idea of what a lucky strike is with the menthol. Otherwise, it'll just end up tasting like a like a Camel Crush or something. And I kind of want to get the lucky strike flavor in there along with the menthol flavor because that's pretty interesting. All right. Oh, and it is perforated right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I know it's shitty angle right there. You guys can kind of get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh. It smells like a Lucky Strike. Kind of... Kind of like an original, you know, flavor. Kind of a plain tobacco. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of... Um, kind of sour in a way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and light this up. Um, you do kind of have to pull, um, you have to pull a little bit more than you do a regular Lucky Strike, just to get that smoke, you know, just to get that regular inhale. I do find myself having to pull on it a little bit harder. Um, I, I maybe it's like a Lucky Strike light with a menthol, um, I don't know. There is no menthol right now, 
nothing at all. It just tastes like a like a light lucky strike pretty much. Hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and crush it. You guys heard that. I'm gonna roll it around. That's pretty cool. I noticed on this one though I had to really push um just to crush it. Like the camel crush, you just barely do it pretty much and it'll crush. This one you really have to apply pressure. So Yeah. Kind of a weak body. <clears throat> um not too much smoke smoke going on right there. Mm. Gotta have strawberry Kool-Aid. And I've noticed that I, when I drink while I smoke, I just drink uh, like Kool-Aid or soda while I smoke, it kind of uh, defeats all that gunk buildup in the back of my throat. So it's just easier if I drink water, drink some soda, or drink, you know, just drink something with it. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and take a nice full pull of this, inhale it all the way down to the bottom of my lungs. See what kind of heart. No, I'm gonna inhale it just like a regular cigarette and see what kind of heart sense it's got. Hmm. No harshness. Hmm. It reminds me of a certain cigarette. I just can't put my name on I just kept the name on it. Not a camel crush. What what is it? And it, d it definitely doesn't taste like that Dunhill I did, uh, what was it, yesterday? Yeah. It wasn't the Dun, it wasn't, doesn't taste like the Dunhill at all. But it, it tastes similar to, like a Newport menthol in a way. But with like a Lucky Strike. I don't know, it's definitely different. That's a really strong, it's, it, you can definitely tell it's a menthol. Um, I like more of the minty menthols. This is like, when you know, when you're sick and then you take, you, you got your cough drops. It, that's exactly, it's just a plain menthol cough drop is what it reminds me of. So I'm not really impressed. I do, however, like the, the, the quality of the tobacco. It, really, it definitely has good quality tobacco. That's, that's for sure. Uh, Taste-wise... And I'm a little disappointed. Not too bad, but just a little bit. I, I had high high hopes for this one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a drag. Blow it out my nostrils. Really get the flavor on it. Yeah, it definitely has um, a pretty strong... A, a pretty strong menthol <coughs> flavor. Um, yeah, just plain menthol. Can't really taste the tobacco anymore. The menthol's kind of taken over. I'm going to go ahead and uh, inhale it all the way down to the bottom of my lungs. Yeah, no harshness. I wish, I wish it did have <coughs> a, a thicker body and maybe a little bit more harshness because it's kind of a weak... Like a light, it reminds me of a light menthol cigarette. I mean, yeah, just like a light menthol cigarette is what it reminds me of. Almost like the Newport Gold. That's that's kind of what it relates to. I wish it had a little bit more of that genuine Lucky Strike flavor, because I love the original Lucky Strike. Um, my favorite are the, uh, the unfiltered Lucky Strikes. Those are the best. You get the full flavor. The ones with the filter, great cigarette. Oh, wait. I haven't done a review on I have a review on those done. It's just waiting to be uploaded. So I don't know if this is going to be first or if this is going to be after. I don't know. So we'll see. But, yeah, definitely. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the ratings. Flavor, taste, and aroma. 6.5 out of 10. Body. 6.5 out of 10. Quality and burn time. Um, it did burn a little bit fast, but not too bad. I'll, I'll give the quality and burn time a 7.5. So overall, I'll give the Lucky Strike Click and Roll 
a 7 out of 10. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out siggiesworld.com. Uh, click the link down below. I'm going to post it in my description box. Alright guys, have a good one. Stay lit. Smoke on. Peace out.